Joe, you want to do an update with us? Sure. All right, guys, so we're down here at the courthouse. Are we, I'll ask everybody, are we straight? Because I think my phone might be upside down, but um, it was, I think, overall a very good hearing. Is the video um, upside down? Or I don't know. I can't okay. see what they're you saying. Give me a thumbs up. You can't see what they're saying. No, because okay. I'm Let's right check real quick, guys. Oh, but they're talking. Okay. Okay. So we're up doing an update here um, down at the courthouse with Joey Gibson down here, a bunch of great supporters, John Lamb. I think it went really well. I think DHS. Quite frankly, um, I think Mrs. Uh, what was it, Twilliger? I think Twilliger. She's the other DA alongside um, DA um, Catherine Landers, Kathleen Land, Christine, Christine Landers. Landers. Oh, my name's. <laughs> so she. They sent in the other DA. I don't know why that is and why Christine wasn't here, but I'm not surprised. Because she's a coward. Um, the other DA uh, was. Um, I'm sorry. Yes, Twilliger. She um, made it sound like they want to move towards getting Kylie home as quickly as possible. Kylie has a doctor's appointment this week, and if that goes well, they want to talk about doing regular home visits um, in the foster home with Kylie's mom, Christine, and also talk about getting her home. Um, that was their overall narrative the entire time was, well, we just really want to make it clear on court record we're moving to get her home. Um, and then let's just maybe do a recap step by step if, uh, if the guys can help me remember uh, what went on. Um, well, they, they, the judge did order that um, DHS give Kylie's mother at least three visits this week. Yes. And then they have another court hearing on Monday at uh, 3 o'clock here in this same courtroom. Uh, Going to talk about the criminal case, criminal charges. Um, they want to move towards maybe getting the no contact order dismissed on the case. The judge reprimanded DHS and Marty McMahon for his unacceptable communication with the daughter. Um, with between mother and daughter before and after surgery. That was good to hear both Kylie's lawyer and the judge um, spoke up and, and, sh and said that was really unacceptable. In fact, the judge said she has three kids yes. and that if she had gone through that, that would have been very concerning and stressful to not be contacted. Is there anything else? Yeah, I just noticed that the um, it was interesting that the DA was so adamant about how they want to bring, they want to have visits and stuff. So they're obviously afraid, they're obviously on their heels. Um, because before they weren't, they weren't allowing the visits to happen at all. They weren't motivated at all. So now they sound, uh, the way she was talking is like, they like so badly want to reunite them. Mm -hmm. Um, but obviously yeah. that was a lie, but yeah. So I think that, I think that Monday, you know, things, good things should happen. Yeah. Marty's name was mentioned a few times yeah. in there. Marty was thrown under the bus a couple of times about some things that he'd done inappropriate. Um, they talked about the, how everyone at DHS has been feeling threatened by us, the hospital yes. felt threatened by us. All we did was peaceful. One thing that's brought up is that not one of us was ever arrested for anything that we've done wrong the last two weeks. No citations. In fact, they, DH, um, the DA, Twilliger, tried to say that communication broke down because OHSU security had concerns of security threats. I did get myself thrown out at that point because I had to speak out. I didn't go until after the communication broke down and they sent a little girl into surgery without her mom knowing. I went down there on the 15th um, or the 16th. The surgery started the 13th. Her, yeah, she was transferred on the 13th to OHSU. So I did want that on record. Um, they did make it clear that they, they felt threatened by the protests. Christine did a great job. She did awesome. Um, she read a statement saying over and over, you were essentially afraid of one woman with a bunch of signs. Yeah. There were no threats. There were no attacks. I communicated every step of the way with the police, both Portland police and OHSU police. Um, there was, she said, you know, they're making allegations that are false and, um, and they have no, no evidence of this. So Christine just immediately spoke up when they said, well, it's probably security threats and that's why she didn't give us visitation. Bullshit, bullshit is what I call. I call bullshit. That's what it is. <laughs> Why can't they the communicate? Case. They still communicate with her. You know what I mean? Yeah, they didn't communicate with her, and that's why we responded. See, we don't respond when people do things lawfully and they communicate and they're normal human beings. We only respond when people are satanic sickos and hide children and cut them up in hospitals. Let's talk about let's talk about James. James Dixon. Oh my gosh. Father was in court today. I about I about said some words I did, shouldn't have said. And daughter he, Hailey did not want him there. Hailey does Kylie not, want, did him not want him there. He had he has a he has a demonic appearance to him. The guy is guy is totally evil. 
He's yeah. boot licking the, the hospital and DHS and, yeah. and the whole foster care program. Yeah. He so. was in there today and Kylie wanted her attorney to read a statement that said, I do not want my father in court. It makes me uncomfortable and it slows down my recovery. I do not want him here in court. Sick. Yeah, James, sick. you're sick. There's something wrong with him. <laughs> you're sick. We did have uh, words with him at the end. Joey uh, uh, walked outside. I don't know if Joey wants that's to say anything. That's used to let him I just wanted to know about the 14 year old girl that he raped. And that's it. And he just laughed it off. Um, spit was coming out of his face. Uh, he's obviously on drugs. And um, he's a dangerous character. Yeah. yeah. He has a long, long, long list of crimes that have been dropped. Um, probably because his father used to be a police chief. So. Um, He's yeah. a scary dude. He gets away with whatever he wants. Yeah, and he had the police following him, escorting him out. So when Joey was standing in the street trying to just have a verbal uh, altercation or confrontation with him, the police were honking their horn behind to let us know it's time to stop. They're siren. Yeah, they're siren. So um, that was pretty sick. I think it's child abuse to have him in there. He sexually abused Kylie as a child and never paid for his crimes. His rap sheet is a mile long. Not that I trust any of our courts, but... The man has harmed a lot of people and not paid for those crimes. So I think it's pretty disgusting that the court let him be in here. Um, uh -huh. he, it's, I mean, it's obviously part of his agreement that he made with the court is that he'd be yeah. allowed to be in here even though he was restricted from seeing Kylie for years because he sexually abused her. So why is he sitting in this courtroom now? That's disgusting. Why does he care? Oh, he said he loved and cared about his daughter. Yeah, that's why he was here. Uh -huh. well, one of the biggest things about today, what we know that happened, is that Kylie looks like he is going to be going home fairly soon. Hopefully they don't drag it out very much longer, but yeah. they are going to work at getting her back. Monday is going to be another big day for her and then finding out some more of this stuff. But the judge did order that uh, the mother gets visitations at least three days this, the rest of this week and then Monday. The DHS also, or the um, DA, said that... Uh, Visitations at DHS would be difficult because there were protesters out front causing problems, so they needed to move it maybe to another office if they were going to move forward with visitation there. Visitation needs to happen at the foster home or with um, with Christine at her own home. Um, actually, she needs to just go home, so let's skip visitation altogether. But they tried to point it out like, we've been so threatening. Everybody who's been out there talks to the security guards, talks to the public. No threats are being made. No property is being vandalized. And we're yet, getting loud though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, getting a little loud. That's okay. We don't rip children out of their homes and cut them First up. Amendment. So we're, you know, we're doing pretty good here. So it's interesting to hear that they're still trying to say um, that we're so dangerous. Christine did read in a letter that I'm going to ask her if she'll uh, get posted online. And she said, not only has this court been restricting my access to my daughter, but they're actually trying to restrict the First Amendment right of the people to peaceably gather and protest and, and, and redress their grievances with their government by saying we can't meet there because there's people and you couldn't see her at the hospital because there was people. They're literally saying the First Amendment terrifies them. Right. That's something for people to pay attention to. That's, they got they, something to hide. They don't want accountability. They got something to hide. So they say you have a First Amendment right and then you get penalized as soon as you use it. So um, anyway, I think overall, overall... Good work, guys. I think it went good. And we're John, not done, guys. So Kelly, we're going to be back at Joey. DHS, right, dude, tomorrow. Dude, um, bad, dude. I have to making <laughs> sure that they understand that they took a good step today talking about reuniting them. But that doesn't mean we're going to go away until they reunite them. So that pressure needs to stay on. So, all right, I'm going to take it up here so we can get... We can talk to Christine, I think... Christine is up here. You, you did so awesome. They were awesome. lying about you. They were lying. They were lying. They were lying. And I wasn't going to just sit there. I'm like, I wasn't there until after you quit communicating with mom. I know. It was very clear that the judge saw right through it all, yeah. too. She made it quite clear. I was just yeah. telling them the presence of today set precedence for our the side of it, the whole case. It was good. I'm telling you, that entire yeah. aura today from everyone, well, I don't care about there was being, nothing guess, like it. Uh, nothing like accountability it. Accountability is an amazing <laughs> thing. <laughs> it really is. They want us to go away. But we're not done yet because Kylie's no. not home, but this was a good step in yeah. the right direction. Huge. We were yeah. so glad we were able to be out here. We came down, well, we're uh, just west of Eugene. 
so we came up to thank you to, to show our support and we know exactly you know just how devious they can be and and uh and how lonely it is when they try to separate you from friends and family and create a, a division there and so uh, we just wanted to show our support and let you know that you're not alone, that a lot of parents are going through it right now, and they've gone through it before, and they will continue to push and push and push yeah. people, and they will continue to divide families apart. So until we get to a point where everybody's in unity and we are able to show that the system is flawed, mm -hmm. um, you know, they're going to keep on trying to pull everything. That I didn't hear after I was so. thrown out, but you get to be at the doctor's appointment, is that correct? Yes. I do. Oh, that's great. <laughs> the judge that was, is uh, wonderful. The judge I'm excited. Turn and, and was right. saying, I want this. And that that lady, Mary, was like, well, I don't know this. This is just like, no. By by Monday, I want yeah. this. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> she, was, she was also trying to blame a lot of her no contact yes. on the no contact order when she the was. judge <laughs> had said herself, I believe that the mom would be there. You know, as much as possible oh, yeah. at, at the. So I don't know and why you. Fears, why did that lady lie about us being there on the weekend? We were not on. We were not right. there any weekend. No. Well. Uh, why would we? Be? We can. We were a few places Are you ready, on weekends. Guys? But okay. anyway, you feel you. My umbrella is. That's what is. Um, Kylie yeah. looked it's pretty good, long. guys. Kylie, right? She you want to see about how Kylie looked? Yeah, she looked. She, looked, she amazing. looked amazing. Like she said, there's still a lot of health hurdles that she knows she's got to go through. She thought she'd even be funny and take my finger and make me touch her scar without me realizing it until I did. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, and she also put on record that she feels good, but that the surgery was still against her will, yes. but she just wants to move forward and get home. Yes. And that she wanted you there when she got to the hospital. And, um... So anyway, that was good to hear hear from her. Heck yeah. So and I, I have thirty minutes to get to go uh, see her, so I'm gonna go head over there. So I okay. Can you hold this real quick, Bob. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait a second. All right. Do you guys want to go down there real quick? Yeah. 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 We'll go down here. Look at all these people here. This poor courthouse doesn't yeah, know what to do with all these people. We got Mike Strick Strickland out here, and Margo came. She wrote an awesome letter to the courts and, and has been a great support. She's a great advocate in the CPS world. A lot of us don't understand the ins and outs of that, so it is important to have people who know what beast this is. So, you want to say anything, Margo? Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Kelly. Thank you, John Lamb. <laughs> Thank you, Joey uh, Gibson. I mean, what you guys have done here is you have just opened up Oregon. And the child sex trafficking, uh, Kelly, you, <laughs> you are so articulate. And what I saw in the courtroom, uh, I think I have somebody that can really help out as well. So Good. I'm gonna, I get that contacts all together. Good. But, um, I mean, I'm so happy. Thank you. Good. I've been yeah. working on stuff for 22 years around child sex trafficking and sexual abuse and the corruption in CPS. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> what you guys have done is just uh, just exposed it so well. And you did it with such, actually, uh, goodwill and humor Good. and uh, uh, fearlessness. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Well, I, I don't know that I'll, I'll claim fear, fearlessness, but yeah. <laughs> definitely boldness. And if, if you could get that video to me, I'll get yes. it to the attorney. Yes, that would be great. Okay, we'll do that. That'll be awesome. Thank you, Margo. All these umbrellas are out here in the rain. John, do you have your phone? John, give you your phone for a picture. Yes? Here. Here, we'll cover you guys. Got it? Got to turn it around. Turn it. There we go. One, oh, yeah. two, three. Picture, you need another one. Yeah, yeah. You're awesome. I can't believe you sat in there so boldly with that attorney and just spoke. And I was like, man, she is a strong mama. She is a strong mama. Thank you. Hey, hey. Joey, are you taking off? Yeah. Can I get a picture with you and me and John? Mm -hmm. Awesome. John. For Grandma Lee. Can you hold this for a moment and just kind of film stuff? John. John. Can you get a picture? Oh, yeah. 
Christine, come here. I see a stick. Yeah, I'll get it ready here. And that's why they premature. Yeah, for somebody here. Here, can you? There's, a, there's mine in this Um, way. actually, somebody can you do everything, Tina? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to use to hit the buttons. I'm not taking I'm not taking pictures, am I? Okay. I think we're good. Alright. Alright guys. Monday. Monday. We'll see you tomorrow morning at DHS. Hallelujah. Oh yeah. We're not done. It's just starting to rain. Just ask Kelly. Ask Kelly. We're just getting ready, right, John? All right, guys. So uh, I'm gonna sign off. So those who want to go back and watch this, you can. Uh, it was a good court hearing. Marty McMahon got a good butt chewing, even though he didn't have the nerve to show up. Uh, they're talking about getting Kylie home. Of course, it's all talk until it happens. Okay, guys, it's all talk until it happens. So we'll keep standing until it happens. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning at DHS at 7 a.m. God bless. The camera is your protection because they don't want to screw up while you're filming. Uh, they don't want to lose their paycheck, just the same as anybody. So uh, don't ever stop. Just, you know, stay calm and keep filming. Now is the time in the video when I ask you to dig deep and throw me some crypto love. If you have Bitcoin and you think I should have some of your Bitcoin, scan this QR code and let's make it happen. You can also find a link, or just a copy paste, of my coin address wallet beneath the video. Because I'm out there in the streets filming the cops so you don't have to. So let's team up and kick the police state square in the balls. Thanks for watching guys.